Hey everyone, welcome back. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to design a website wireframe in just three minutes using Figma, even if you're totally new to wireframing or want to speed up your process. By the end of this video, you'll know how to efficiently set up a solid wireframe that you can use as the foundation for your website's design, saving you loads of time and giving your project a professional, organized starting point. Let's dive right in. First things first, a website wireframe is basically your site's blueprint. Think of it like the skeleton of a house. It doesn't have all the paint and furniture, but it lays out where the walls, doors, and rooms are going to be. When you start with a wireframe, you're giving yourself a roadmap that makes the actual design and development much easier down the road. It helps you quickly map out what content will go where, without getting bogged down by colors, fonts, or flashy graphics. So before we dive deeper, just remember, wireframes are your best friend for avoiding costly mistakes later on. Now open up Figma. This is my personal favorite tool for design work because it's intuitive, powerful, and collaborates really well if you're working with a team. Once you're in Figma, look for the template and tools section. Up in the search bar, type in website wireframe. Just take a second to browse through the options. Figma has a range of pre-made wireframe templates, which is fantastic because it skips a lot of the grunt work. It's sort of like choosing a floor plan for your dream home rather than drawing every wall from scratch. When you spot a wireframe template that fits the overall layout you're imagining, maybe it has a clean navigation at the top, a big hero section, or well-organized content blocks, go ahead and select it. Click to open it up right in Figma. Sometimes these templates can look a bit generic, but that's intentional. They're meant to be a blank canvas for your big ideas. Now comes the fun part, making the wireframe your own. In Figma, you can start customizing everything you see. Swap out the placeholder text with the actual menu items, headings, or sections your website needs. Maybe you need an extra button here or a bigger image placeholder there, just drag and adjust the elements as needed. Don't worry if you're not sure about every detail right away. Wireframing is all about experimenting and figuring out what works. If you make a change and it doesn't feel right, you can always undo or tweak it until things feel just right. As you go, remember, keep things simple. At this stage, you don't need to add color or imagery, just gray boxes, labels, and lines to mark out the layout. This keeps your focus on structure and makes it super easy to share your ideas with teammates or clients for feedback. If you're working solo, this also helps you spot any missing elements before committing to the full design. Once you've got everything laid out and customized for your specific project, you can use this wireframe as the base for your final website design, or even hand it off to a designer or developer to move things forward fast. And that's really it's super streamlined, right? So now you know how to make a flexible, clear website wireframe in Figma all in just a few minutes. Give it a shot and don't stress if your first version isn't perfect. The goal is efficiency and clarity, not polished design at this stage. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button. And if you have any questions about wireframing or Figma, pop them in the comments. I love helping out. And of course, make sure you subscribe for more practical tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.